Feet by Ross Gay. Friends, mine are ugly feet. The body's common wreckage stuffed into boots. The second toe on the left foot's crooked enough that when a child asks, what's that of it? I can, without flinch or fear of doubt, lie that a cow stepped on it, which maybe makes them fear cows, for which I repent in love as I am with those philosophical beasts who would never smash my feet nor sneer at them the way my mother does. We always bought you good shoes, honey. She said, you can't blame us for those things. And for this and other reasons, I have never indulged in the pleasure of flip-flops, shy or ashamed, digging my toes like 10 tiny ostriches into the sand at the beach with friends who I'm not sure love me, though I don't think Tina loved me. She liked me, I think, but said to me, as we sat on lawn chairs beside a pool where I lifeguarded and was meticulous at obscuring from view with a book or towel my screwy friends, you have pretty feet, in that gaudy cement mixer Levittown accent that sends all the lemurs scaling my rib cage to see, and she actually had pretty feet, and so I took this as a kindness incomparable and probably fell a little bit in love with her for that afternoon with the weird white streak in her hair and her machine gun chatter and her gum snapping, and so slid my feet from beneath my Power Man and Iron Fist comic book into the sun for which they acted like plants, opening their tiny mouths to the food hurtling to them through the solar system. And like plants, you could watch them almost smile, almost say, thank you. You could watch them turn colors and be almost emboldened, none of which Tina saw because she was probably digging in her purse or talking about that hottie on the real world or yelling at some friend's little sister to put her ass in her trunks or pouring the crumbs of her Fritos into her thrown open mouth. But do you really think I'm talking to you about my feet? Of course, she's dead. Tina was her name of leukemia, so I heard. Why else would I try, sadly, to make music of her unremarkable kindness? I am trying, I think, to forgive myself for something I don't know what. But what I do know is that I love the moment when the poet says, I am trying to do this, or I am trying to do that. Sometimes it's a horseshit trick, but sometimes it's a way by which the poet says, I wish I could tell you, truly, of the little factory in my head. The smokestacks chuffing, the dandelions and purslane, and willows of sweet clover prying through the blacktop. I wish I could tell you how inside is the steady mumble and clank of machines. But mostly, I wish I could tell you of the footsteps I hear, more than I could ever count, all of whose gates I can discern by listening closely, which promptly disappear after being lodged again here, where we started, in the factory where loss makes all things beautiful grow.